Hello StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Bly and Showtime on Ruins of Ceres. This is from the Challenger round of Katowice 2016. I figured most people hadn't seen this game, so I figured I would cast it. In the top right side of the map, we have the Red Protoss player. It is Showtime! Representing Team Millennium. And in the bottom left side of the map, we have the Blue Zerg player. It is Bly from Team Acer. At least according to this. Hang on, let me double check this real, real fast. I seem to remember a player who had Acer in their name, but had left Team Acer. Do, 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 Bly. Starcraft 2. Meanwhile, an extractor trick happening real quick. For our friend Bly. And actually going for a one base opener. He is. So let's take a look at that one. Yeah, Bly is currently teamless. So I was off on that one. He still has the Acer handle, but definitely doesn't currently have a team. <laughs> and let's go check out Showtime as well. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. German Protoss player playing for Millennium. All right, good. Good, good, good. So I got all my stuff correct on this side of the map, and yes, indeed, Bly is currently teamless, but still an amazing Zerg player in and of his own right. And a one base opener on a four player map against a Protoss player. I really don't know what he expects to do with this. I mean, coming from a Zerg player myself, yes, he gets some speedlings out. No, he hasn't scouted at all. He does not know. Wait, wait. No, he does. Hold up. Or was that Showtime's? Yeah, that was Showtime Scout. Never mind. All right, so we're going to go ahead and send some links to try to kill this probe. This probe is doing a good job keeping two links here at home for Bly, so they can't get across the map and try to kill his stuff. But yeah, an amazing scout here by Showtime. These links do not know where his opponent is. They don't know where the Protoss is. They don't know where Showtime has set up shop. They're going to get there way, way late. Showtime knows these links are on the way. He's going to have time to get out a Mothership Core, get out a couple of Adepts, and he's going to be just fine. There's no way this is going to do anything at all. I think Bly gambled here, and he lost to put it succinctly. Either way, he is expanding, so he's not completely dead yet, but man, that expansion is just about complete for Showtime. He's going to have double Chrono Boost out here very, very soon. Indeed, and then he should be able to get a nice economic lead up on the Zerg, and Bly is going to be fighting an uphill battle from this point on. Have they still not killed this probe? They still haven't killed this probe. <laughs> These slowlings are working so hard to take this guy down, and speed just finished. There we go, the probe dies now. The Link kind of dancing around. Again, they do have speed. They're going to be a little bit annoying, but like I said, Mothership Core with Photon Overcharge, with an Adept holding that line and finishing the wall there with a the Gateway. There's no way these Linkers are going to do anything. They're going to try to poke around and see what they can do, but no. I mean, they're going to stand there. The Adept can take several shots before going down. They're going to go ahead and try to take down this Gateway. Just not enough DPS there either. Although more Lings are showing up, it's a pretty big number, but Bly does not feel like he can take down that gateway in time with that Mothership Core here. Doesn't quite want to use a Photon Overcharge. In an earlier patch of StarCraft 2, this Mothership Core would have definitely thrown down a Photon Overcharge on both of these immediately because it only costs 25 energy. And you could do them pretty, basically forever and ever. But they cost 50 energy now, so he can throw it down once. Here is Showtime, and then wait a little bit more, and then get a second one, and then wait for another 50. So he's being a lot more judicious with those Photon Overcharges. And the Adept is trying... There it is. The Photon Overcharge does come up. Bly finally forces it out here. Mothership Core still has enough for one more in its back pocket. But this is kind of keeping Showtime away from being able to mine at this base. So I'm, I guess I would have to say that Bly's early strategy is paying off a little bit more than I expected it to. Maybe a little bit more than he expected it to, actually, as he's going for a third base, too. So Bly, after getting a ton of lings in the early game, is now up 30 to 28 harvesters in comparison to his Protoss friend, Showtime, and actually in a pretty good spot economically. I thought for sure these lings didn't do enough damage, didn't do enough harassment to actually pay for themselves, but they actually delayed mining on this base for a good couple of minutes, allowing Bly to catch up, and now he's fine. Like, it's just like he went hatch first, in my opinion. And he has a third hatch up without worrying about any harassment at all from Showtime. He basically had map control for a while with those lings. I guess the Adepts might be able to come out here and get map control back for Showtime, but he might actually want to stay inside his base to be a little bit more circumspect, depending on how he sees things working out. There is a Queen here at the base, and what is going on back in Bly's camp? We've been in the Protoss land for quite a while now. Nothing, just droning. Five drones at a time, popping them out as fast as he can out of those eggs. It's 41 to 38 total harvesters. Again, trying to catch up. Good inject. Great inject there from Bly. 
the adept's just making sure the lings aren't hanging around and staying too close. It's like you don't want the teenagers right on your stoop, smoking their cigarettes, but, you know, if they're across the street, that's usually okay. <laughs> teenagers, in this metaphor, are zerglings. <laughs> and I think I saw a stargate coming up as well here. Not at the front door. He's hiding there. There it is. There's the stargate with double oracle on the way for showtime. So... As I've said so many times, as a Zerg player to deal with this, you need a Spore Crawler and a Queen. Or two Queens, at the very least, to hold on against an Oracle that's coming to kill all the stuff in your mineral line. Two Queens here, a small group of Lings are popping out. Enough Lings can get a nice surround on Adepts, cause them troubles. Yes, the Adepts do two-shot Lings, but it takes a while. Their attack rate isn't super fast until they have that Resonating Glaives upgrade, which they don't yet. So Lings actually a better counter to Adepts than you would think. Better than roaches, in my estimation. They're fast enough to keep up with them. They hit them pretty hard, and it just takes longer to kill than you would expect. So here comes the oracle. I think Bly saw that. Yeah, two queens here should be enough to chase this oracle away. Four queens, actually. Wow. And yeah, the oracle ends up getting a single drone kill. That's not something he's happy with at all. Ling's coming right on up. The adepts pulling back to a nicely defensive position with the oracle playing defense, too. Trying to get up through this area. Can they kill? No, they don't manage to kill the sentry. And Photon Overcharge chases them away. Meanwhile, the Oracle, did it get any more kills while all that was happening? Yeah, it did get six kills because the Queen uh, did come down to actually help, I think, defend over there. And the Spore Crawler wasn't quite ready yet. So Oracle there with a few kills to its name. Pretty good. Pretty good measure considering Bly did see it coming eventually. Ling's running around. Bly is really relying on these Ling's for quite a while. But now getting Gleal Reconstitution and a Hydralisk Den. So he's going to move into some Hydras. And probably some Lurkers and Roaches, too, eventually. Just, I don't think he has any now, is what I don't think. But, man, this queen count is high right now for Bly. He has six queens out. He is serious about base defense, especially anti-air defense against these oracles. He knows they're out. He knows there's two of them. This one is super low on health. Be so careful. Don't fly in there. Gets a couple shots. Oh, it does end up dying after tossing down Revelation. So died what he enjoyed doing best, which is casting Revelation. This overlord scouted... And is done scouting as it's completely dead now. Immortals coming up here for the Showtime. Third base is established as we've seen pretty frequently here. Another Overlord going to die to this Phoenix. Showtime a little bit committed to this error. Quick pause there from Bly. Looks like his wrist is getting in some trouble. And then he said, thank you very much. Should we go? And Showtime said, yes. Yes, let's go. So Immortals, we have a Robotics Bay. We have a Twilight Council coming up for the Protoss as well. Creep Spread looking okay. And a third base coming up there too. Oracle trying to sneak on in and kill some more workers. Nope, just tossing down a Revelation. Not worried about that at all. Bly goes for the immediate Spore Crawler, though. I'm surprised he didn't have one already in that base. It is pretty susceptible to getting Oracled in the face, but it didn't really hurt him too much. Income right now, 75 to 67 workers. Bly really macroing. Not having to make anything but Lings is really nice. Really nice for Zerg. Allows them to get extra bases up, allows them to make drones. Doesn't have to spend time getting Roaches and Hydras. And things like that. And lets him get a Spire. So a Spire and a Hydralisk Den. And a Roach Warren. Yeah, there's a Roach Warren. And an Infestation Pit for Bly here at the 8 minute mark. And another base coming up for Bly. Macroing like a boss here is Bly. He is up to 5 bases. But guess what? Another one coming up for Showtime. Showtime keeping up as best as he can with his Zerg opponent. Bly's Spire does actually get scouted here. Which is interesting. He knows there's Phoenix out. He knows there's a Stargate available. So I don't think he's going to go Mutas. Corruptors would be a better choice. I just, I'd be really surprised if I got any mutas out, out of this at all. Disruptors coming on here, here too from Showtime. So he's going Disruptor, Immortal, Phoenix, Oracle, Adept mixed in there too. Nice cannon, good positioning there to deal with Ling Runbys. And Revelations just being tossed down everywhere. There's that Roach Ball heading on out there. Zell holding the Zelnaga Watchtower. And again, Lings and Hydras at the front door. Lings and Hydras, Lings and Hydras. Pretty good composition against what we're seeing here. Hydras doing very well against most of these units. Lings can really help with the Stalkers too. Got to worry about these Disruptors though. They can do a lot of damage to a Ling Hydra composition. Yup, some Zealot comes up and tries to take the tower. It absolutely dies to the Hydras. Bad place to be. And there's a Hive. So Bly uses the Infestation Pit to go for a quick Hive. Here at the sub 10 minute marketing. Plus one, plus one for his Ground Carapace and his melee attacks. Not his Missile. For his melee, which tells me he's probably going to be going for ultras later on in the game. Roaches with no upgrades as of yet. Plus one flyer attack coming out too. I don't see any mutas in that production tab as of yet. And festers into production for Bly. More disruptors and a Templar archives. So we could either see Archons, Templar, or I, I mean a Templar with Storm, I guess would be the intent there. 
Oracle throwing down more Revelation. I don't know. Spine Crawler for Static Defense. Spore Crawler, I like that too, but here comes Showtime. A pretty big army marching right down this center pathway. Can he get some damage done here? He's going to try to kill some Creep Tumors, try to kill some of these Zerglings too. Does he have an Observer? He has an Observer. Goodbye, Queen. Blinking forward to surround the Queen and kill her immediately. Roach Count looking pretty darn heavy here. Four Bly, 12 uh, units, sweet, did he just make roaches? He just made uh, Ravagers, rather, out of those, there they are. So a Ravager, Hydra, Queen type mix with some roaches mixed in here. This hatchery, Bly really expanding a lot right now, but blinking on out here is Showtime. Yeah, but a Zealot attack coming in to take this base unawares. Not sure that Bly knows what's going on here. Can he go two bases at once? Can Showtime do that? Guardian Shield is up, hallucinating a Phoenix to do some scouting, forcing a cancel on that base. And the Zealot's kind of queuing up to try to kill this spine crawler. Not a good look for those guys at all. One Zealot does die a little bit unnecessarily, but actually holds the Zealots off for quite a while here. I don't know. Ugh, I don't know if Bly actually knows about this. I don't see him sending any units up to deal with it, but he's really focusing on this big army here, which is not really in interested in engaging too much. Blinking up, killing himself a queen. Cross of Biles being thrown down on nothing? Absolutely nothing. Is this... Yeah, some roaches did show up to try to clean this up, but a lot of drones died, I'm going to have to say. Nine drones have been killed thus far. Six of them by that one oracle. So we didn't lose too many workers here. But again, here is the proxy warp prism. Warping in stalkers, warping in zealots. Changelings holding the Zelnaga watchtower. Going to try to expand once again. Disruptor out on its own. Oh, no. Unsupported disruptors are scary, but there's a warp or a stasis ward here. Another attack over here with the stalkers and the zealots upgrading. Have the plus one attack there, plus two attack, just about to finish two. Static defense not quite ready, but here come a lot of lings just flooding up from the south, getting a nice surround on these stalkers and the zealots. That is going to be the end of those stalkers. The zealots taking care of a roach, but lings and spine crawlers going to deal with them here at the same time. Stalker on the high ground, changelings actually still having a uh, keeping a nice eye. Here, a nice fungal there on a Crossobile, almost killing a Stalker there with that Crossobile, not quite able to do it. Disruptors haven't really gotten much hits yet. Here comes some Lings mixed right on in. The plus one, plus one on the Lings is great against Static Defense. Look at the placement on that cannon, though. Only one Ling can actually hit that thing. That's amazing. Trying to kill these probes. Hold position on the on the Zerglings, rather, to try to kill as many probes as they can. They have killed 12, which is a very good number indeed. Another attack down here. Purification Nova's being used. I don't really see a whole lot. Ultra is popping out now for Bly. I don't see a whole lot of damage done from the Disruptors. Showtime is maxed out. Bly is just about maxed out here, too. We're going to see quite a bit of dancing. And the Harvester's count is 75 to 63 in favor of the Zerg player. And Bly just expanding like there is no tomorrow. He has an expansion here and his expansion here. This one's still running. I wouldn't be surprised if he took this one as well fairly soon. A big Zealot Adept attack. Going to take this hatchery down for the second time in this game because the army is out of position. How are the Ultra's upgrades doing? Seven armor plus two attack. Looking great. Plus two flyer attack coming up too. I don't know that Bly actually has any flyers. Uh, no. No, he does not, according to that units tab. These units are going to die, but you know what? It's not a big deal. They killed themselves. A hatchery. They put the army out of position as Showtime sneaking around this left side. Going to try to maybe get on this high ground and kill some of these units mining at this base here. But they're on creep, which means that Blind knows where they are, especially with that. Another attempt here with a warp in. And can the queen knock this down before these guys warp in? No. Nope, not at all. They're definitely going to try to kill the warp prison before the zealots. Warp prison does get taken down. The zealots are a bit of a bigger problem. But Lurker is mixed in here too. Lurker is excellent, excellent against Zealots. Just not enough HP on those guys to really survive all that much. Stalker holding a zone like a watchtower in enemy territory. Gets absolutely <laughs> smashed in the face by those Ultras. Not a good feeling at all. Stalker standing on creep. You'll notice actually. Did they get some goop on them when they're standing on creep? No, it's just a bit of a shadow. Nope, so this base is up. I don't know that Showtime knows that it's there. He does not. So that's very nice for Bly to have a hidden base. Showtime is unaware of. DT is mixed in here, so didn't actually go for Templar, but Dark Templar instead. Does he have Storm? He has Resonating Glaives. He's getting plus one air weapons, plus one flyer carapace. What is he doing with flyer upgrades? Okay, so he does have 10 mutas. I guess we did see those pop out during the attack on the main base. Stalker is going to die very quickly. Trying to blink on in and finish off the hatchery all by his lonesome is this Stalker. Not going to happen. Another attempt here with DT's. Ooh, but there's a spore crawler here for detection. Is this enough to actually hold on? No, two spore crawlers, not enough. An attack up here with mutas. Gonna try to take this guy down. Some ultras crashing into this base here too. Not looking good at all for Showtime. Showtime needs to make win this battle. 
quite convincingly. Corrosive Bile is being rained down at the same time. This base might actually fall here. Do the Ultras have plus three attack? They don't quite yet, but it should be enough to get it down. They are so good against buildings. And yes, the Nexus does fall. The Mutas didn't actually finish that one off. But this base under a lot of trouble, forcing the Mutas back to clean things out. The DT is invisible, though. Keep in mind that DT is invisible. The Ultras trying to follow everybody back home after killing this base, walking right on in. DTs finish them off, though. If they cannot be seen, they hit pretty hard. Is there an Overseer here at all anywhere? On the base, Bly's multitasking abilities are being stretched to the limit right now, as are Showtimes. Both players everywhere, and now just kind of pulling back. Taking a bit of a breather here. APM right now over 300 on average for Showtime. 480 right now. Bly, about 275, but around 300 currently at the same time. So both players playing very, very quickly. It requires a lot of APM, a lot of, a lot of actions per minute to do this multitasking stuff. Muta's flying in. Showtime has not thrown down a cannon in this Nexus at all. So goodbye, probes. You're all going to be absolutely killed unless you run. And they do. They mostly run. But there are Archons, Immortals, some Templar in here too. And dodging the storm fairly ably. Mutas are pretty good at doing that stuff. Another group of Stalkers comes in with that plus three attack. 70 damage versus Armored. And guess what, buildings? Armored. Armored biological structures. Hatchery does end up falling here. Mutas trying to dance around. Actually going after an Archon. A little bit dangerous. As the splash damage from Archons with plus three is 47 damage versus biological. And again, that splash. As mutas tend to kind of stack up, that's a bit of a trouble there. But no, taking them down fairly handily. The Phoenix are the big problem for mutas, though. Like I said, I didn't want to expect him to get many of them, but he did anyway. Stalker's trying to move on in here, kill some overlords, make that work. The mutas killing so many probes, trying to take down a Nexus as well. This one replaced immediately for Showtime. Again, he's a professional player. You replace your workers when they die. They get the Lurker Den. They do. The Stalkers might have been just dying here because they're kind of standing in place as Lurkers tear them apart, doing extra damage versus armored. 30 damage versus armored on each one of those spines. Did the Mutas die? Nope, they just flew away as the Phoenix chased them off. Like Now, Phoenix outrange Mutas, and they're a little bit faster. And so if they're microed correctly, they do fairly well, really well, against Mutas, actually, especially with that plus one attack and extra damage versus light as, guess what? Mutas are light biological units. So get those Phoenix as a Protoss player if you're playing against Zerg. Now getting some cannons, some static defense, finally. Here is Showtime. But Showtime, one, two, three, four, five bases, effectively. Again, the Phoenix doing a great job whittling this down. Getting a little bit too close to the Mutas, though. Yeah! So careful. That plus two flyer attack really helping the Mutas. Because as they do bouncing damage, bouncing Glaive Worm damage, each bounce has its damage increased. He might, oh, Showtime might have overcommitted here. On Phoenix, he has a lot of Phoenix. There are nine corruptors in play now. All these Phoenix or mutas are going to die, but I think that just free up frees up supply for Bly. He has a lot of money in the bank right now. Moving down the middle here is Showtime again. He has a lot of stuff committed to Phoenix. He has how many Phoenix in the air? Twelve, twelve right now. And if there aren't any mutas, they aren't super useful. I guess they can pick up lurkers. Uh, they can pick up things like roaches and ravagers and hydras, but they cannot pick up ultras. Greater Spire coming up here at the same time, getting rid of an Overseer, just picking up so many drones, but the uh, Corruptors are starting to show up enough to shoo away the Phoenix. Corruptors don't take that extra damage from Phoenix, and Phoenix actually outrange them a little bit. I think they do. Range 6, range uh, 7. Oh, he got the Anion Pulse upgrade, or Anion upgrade, as another hatchery goes down here for Showtime. Trying to use Caustic Spray on a Nexus while being attacked by all the Phoenix on planet Earth. Can they take it down anyway? Look at how fast it's going down. Caustic Spray is what's being used here. It does 35 damage per second after 4.3 seconds of use. Can they take it down? Oh, actually canceling that. Just going straight after the Phoenix. And then finishing off the Nexus. The Nexus does end up falling there. Eye for an eye here from Bly. Taking out the Mothership core. The Stalkers are a bit more of a problem as Caustic Spray does not work. But guess what? Secret base discovered. Showtime has discovered the secret base today. These plus three Archons tearing through these buildings like they're made of paper mache. And now it looks like Bly might be the one who's in trouble. How's his income looking right now? Okay. I mean, still over a thousand minerals per minute. Bunch of gas here too. 58 to 60 total harvesters. Showtime has taken the lead in that regard. It's 142 to 173 total supply. Bly. In trouble right now. Losing these two hatcheries, not what he wants to do. Trying to expand here again, but the army is so close to it. I don't know if that's a great idea or not. Where is the army for Bly? What? Where are his units? Where did he just lose everything? Is this it? 
Is this what he has? Army supply 119 to 121, so no. I guess he just made nine Broodlords, so that's a lot of supply right there. Nine Broodlords getting morphed in as he expands to a base that's a little bit easier to defend, a little bit in closer proximity to his other bases than where his creep spread already is. So here comes Showtime with these plus three Immortals and getting some Tempest too. He saw the Broodlords coming. He knew what was happening, and here it is, Immortal Archon. Broodlords raining down that fire. There aren't enough Tempest to deal with this yet. Using Disruptors to try to clear out Broodlings. That's interesting indeed, but chasing away. No, a couple Immortals get pinned on in. Fungal catching a lot of units there too, and uh, Purification Nova not doing a lot of damage, but enough to actually allow Showtime to escape there. That's a good feeling, and the Broodlords decide to actually turn around and head on back home. They have defended their bases accurately, they have defended them adequately, and it's time to head on back. Now it's 200 to 180, Acer Bly has taken that supply lead, another base up there, a DT going after this hatch. Like I said, so worried about this placement for a by, by Bly. Brr, by Bly. Does he have any overseers? He's making one, and he has three. I don't know where they are. Not anywhere near that base. So the DT actually might take this down all by his lonesome, which is darn impressive. Broodlings still on the ground. Tempest count not super high. There are two with one more in production. Is there only a single Stargate? There might just be one Stargate. I think Showtime would do well to invest in a second Stargate, if at all possible. Lings dancing back and forth, checking for expansion. This base does die. The Overseer showed up, but I think a little bit too late. As more DT is getting morphed on in, saying, Bly, why don't you replant that? Like now, immediately, that'd be fantastic if you would do that. But no, Bly says, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and saturate this base. Get some minerals coming in here. Send some mutas and hydras over to take care of this nexus. You thought you could expand. You thought you were safe. No siree, Bob. Actually, no missile attacks on these hydras. So they might not be able to take down this nexus uh, before they die. Mutas actually distracting a lot of the army here. The mutas not even trying to fly away. I think Bly is just freeing up supply right now. He doesn't care about mutas. They are gone. Can the Hydras finish this off? Nope. Stalkers with that plus three attack and plus one armor now. A little bit too good. A little bit too good there. So he did. Did he get plus three attack for his Ultras? Uh, he did. So he has fully upgraded Ultras at his disposal. And he's making two. All right. I was going to say, if he doesn't have any Ultras at all, it seems like a waste. However, with that Immortal count, it's so dangerous. Wow. So dangerous against plus three Immortals as they do extra damage versus Armored here with their attack. 65 damage versus Armored. Attack speed of 1.04, just great. So the Broodlings trying to sneak on in and lay siege to this base. If he can kill this thing, I really like Bly's chances. It's going to come down to some Fungals. It's going to come down to some Corruptors trying to deal with the Tempest in the air too. And just focusing down the Nexus, not even worrying about the Workers to this point. It dies almost immediately. Those fully upgraded Broodlings, so good. So darn good in that position. Infestors doing the yoink on the Tempest. Oh, feedback on both the Infestors killing them. And more Infestors and a Storm, too. Wow, so Fungal taking care of the Templar, especially with the use of the Broodlings from the Brood Lords. And yeah, Showtime, I'm not sure where he's going to be mining from unless it's this base, which he has 22 workers on. You can only see two right now, but the long distance transfer is happening. Gateways are going to fall here. Some lurkers there to finish it off. And pulling back a little bit here is Bly being a little bit, again, a little bit worried about how things are going to go. Another DT attack? Yes, another DT attack, but there is a spine crawler here and an overseer and a spore crawler. So DTs might not be super effective at that location for a while. More infestors on the way for Bly, more Archons, and more Tempest now getting double pumped out here for Showtime. Ling's trying to do a run by run right through the main army of Showtime. Not a good look at all. Ling's up here, fully upgraded Ling's. Do they have the weapon speed attack? They do. They do. Hydra's here, getting rid of some of the cannons and some of the pylons too. Another attempted three Ling run by here. Oh, can they get these probes? That would be nice. Where are they going? Oh, they're sneaking up here, trying to get maybe where the cannons cannot reach. No, nope, they run right into the cannons instead. Another small attack here. Now the Tempest count is getting a little bit scary. Corruptors trying to take those Tempest out. Can't quite do it. A nice storm. And look at that. One volley from all these Tempests. Do one shot these Broodlords. Actually, so nicely done here by Showtime. Another big storm happening. Broodlord count getting very, very low indeed. The Ultra is trying to do what they can. Fungals and Biles absolutely trying to make things work here too. But Showtime inexorably moving forward. Storms helping him out. Archons, Immortals dealing with everything on the ground. That Tempest count is amazingly high right now. And that's enough to force Bly Black 159 to 165 total supply. This base is still actually under assault. Showtime losing another base there, but walking right onto the creep. Showtime not worried about it. 12 Corruptors and 7 Ultras on the way, though. 
Is that enough to deal with these Tempests? I don't know. That hatchery dies almost immediately. The Corruptors, once again, trying to deal with what they can. Queens transfusing themselves and each other to try to deal with this ground army. Just buying time until the Ultras can actually arrive. Lings mixed in. And once again, moving forward here is Showtime. I think he recognizes he needs to go for the jugular right now. Here at the 25 minute mark. If he can do it, he's going to give it a shot. Corruptor dies. Rally point not looking good at all. But here it is. Going for it. No, Bly. Not interested quite yet. Again, he does have his fully upgraded Ultras. He's on creep. Is Showtime, which is always a little bit dangerous. As Broodlings might actually try to kill a Templar here. And they do. They try. This base up and running, this base up and running for Showtime. This base, this base, this base for Bly, though. It's anybody's game right now. I honestly think so. Oh, no, Tempest. Tempest, do not be alone. Do not be alone here. Storms everywhere. Actually storming on top of his own Tempest. Are the Tempest going to be taken down? Ultras trying to crush through here, too. But the Immortals at the back are just absolutely cleaning up that ground army of Bly's. And, yeah, the Immortals are hardly scathed. The Corruptors should be able to deal with the Tempest. But it's 140 to 71 total supply here. All of the Immortals absolutely killed those ultras which is where Bly spent most of his money he has no gas available at all to this point showtime looking good a lot of his units are injured as we can see from those health bars archons here too not even transferring these drones i'm not sure what Bly is going to try to make happen here four ultras in production but again these immortals 11 kills 7 kills 13 kills 11 kills 29 kills on that immortal the immortals definitely the mvp of this ground army here today all these drones getting back to do a quarter and absolutely blown to oblivion 158 to 81 total supply. What is going on here from Bly? He's trying to mine up, trying to get that gas income where it needs to be, making some Zerglings here too. And uh, <laughs> saturating another base. 24 to 54 workers though. Showtime has two very healthfully mining bases right here and right here. And that's it, but really that's all he needs at this point. This army supply is 58 to 115. Resources lost is 51,000 to 38,000 Showtime having lost the smaller number and marching up once again just with a ragtag army of Stalkers, Archons, Zealots, Disruptors, Immortals. Another hatchery falls there for Bly and this might be his last stand. Zealots already here though. Getting rid of all of the Lings, all of the drones. That worker count is down to 19 for Bly. There's nowhere to go, no escape for anybody here in this base. I don't think there's anybody left to escape anyway. Here come some Lings and some Broodlords and some Corruptors and some Ultras. Does he have Ultras? I don't know. If he traps this army inside here and actually gets rid of it, he might be okay. He might. Broodlords are back. The Tempest count was not recreated when they were destroyed here. Broodlings... Raining down fire from above, fully upgraded, trying to get out of there at Showtime. He doesn't want to stay and engage. The Ling's fully engaging and then backing out there once again. Just anything to force the Protoss army to hold still is good for Bly right now. 73 to 183 total supply, but Showtime has no answer for these Broodlords. And nothing in production here either. Another Archon falls, just getting chased home by Broodlings that are very fast, very angry, and very well upgraded right now for Showtime. If Bly could do this with 67... Supply to 177. I will be shocked. Shocked out of my mind. The one saving grace for Showtime right now is that Broodlords are slow. So they chase you, but they can't catch you very fast. Some Corruptors mixed in here. They're mostly useless. Nothing they can do here. Nothing for them to kill. There were some Void Rays in production earlier. And here they are. So he's going to have some Void Rays that might do fairly well. A bunch of units here in the main base. Another attempt at a hatchery being canceled there by Showtime. The Broodlords. Sneaking on in. This might be the last stand here for Bly. The Corruptors are trying to deal with the Voiders. A good storm getting rid of a lot of the Lings there and a lot of the Broodlings blinking forward underneath the Broodlords. And that's it. A GG from Bly. Bly is defeated. Showtime is victorious. And Bly has left the game. Wow, that was a good one. That was a great PVZ. I hope you agree with me because I had a great time casting it. But uh, Showtime just showed the resilience, showed the wherewithal to know how to deal with Bly, what was, was doing at most times. Bly went for Mutas, Showtime had Phoenix. Bly went for Ultras, Showtime had Immortals. Bly went for Broodlords, Showtime had Tempest, and then he had Blink Stalkers, which are also very good. If there's nothing to support the Broodlords, blinking underneath them and killing them is actually fairly easy. Void Rays here too, Showtime just doing what he needed, expanding, killing hatcheries. He killed this hatchery a couple times, this one too, this one, this one, this one, this one. I mean, he killed so many hatches 
throughout his game, even had a small army getting rid of the main while he was defending his own mining bases back home. So Showtime really showing he has what it takes to take down one of the better Zergs on the planet in Bly and wins this game today. So again, well played here from our German Protoss player. And that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.